everybody, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here, I'm Crystal, and I have a new video, and it's a lipstick slash lip products collection of what I have so far in my makeup collection. I just want to show everybody what I have so far, so let's get started. So, the first lipsticks I'm, well the first like lip product I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to start from like the beginning, like lip balms and lip care, like lip scrubs and shit. The e.l.f. lip exfoliators. I actually have two of them. This is the first one I got. I did not like the flavor or scent of this at all. Like you're not supposed to eat them, but this is the vanilla one. It does not smell like vanilla to me. It did, it does work, but it's not my scent <laughs> to work with. Uh uh. But you can just on your lips and taste it. And, ugh. I've only tried like two of their kind, but the other one is the, the, the what kind is this one? Cherry tart. This one's slightly better. This one's almost gone, as you can see. It's like it's down to the numb. I need to get a new one. I'm glad these are cheap. <laughs> Cause your girl's got some dry ass lips this winter. Oh, I hate winter time. But these are really good. They get like all the dead skin you need off your mouth. Ooh, I almost dropped that. It makes lips nice and smooth to put a gloss or lipstick, whatever you want to put on your lips. I'm going next is the another Sephora brand. The Sephora Super Nourishing Lip Balm with beeswax in it. And it looks like a lipstick basically. Mine's almost gone, but it looks like this. And it's white. This one also smells like vanilla too, but that one's kind of stronger. But this is also super moisturizing, but I use this one a lot too. But it works amazing. And it's like the same price range as the other one. And this lasts a very long time, because I've had this for like maybe about a year. I'm not really sure. But Next one is this one I got from Cosmoprof, because it was on sale. I was like, I need some lip balm. And I kind of just want to try another kind. So it's the Body Drench Lip Drench. Moisturizing lip butter in scent cocoa coffee. This one, I'm glad I didn't eat a bunch of this. I don't know if it just it doesn't smell like coffee. It just it's white one. It was only two twenty four at on sale, so it's not that that like I didn't expect it to be like amazing. It's moisturizing, but it's not as good as the Sephora one. So next is actually a lip primer, which I've never tried a lip primer until I got this one. But it does make a lip smooth, like a lip balm, so I'm kind of putting it in this category as well. It's the Hard Candy Lip Primer. It looks like this. I got this in one of their holiday gift sets. And it comes in this little, like, weird squeezy tube like this. It's really strange. Like, you would, like, apply um, lipstick, almost. But it makes your lips really moisturizing, oh my god. And does help your lipstick last a lot longer, or any kind of lip product you have in your mouth. I think I'm gonna do cream lipsticks. Cream and matte lipsticks, but are like not liquid lipsticks. So I have a lot of e.l.f. lipsticks, like literally a lot. I'm about to drop them. These are all e.l.f. lipsticks. There's like five of them, but this is a lip tint, so four. I want to get more, but I didn't have them right now. So, the first shade I have from e.l.f., I'm going to start from like lightest to darkest, is Party in the Buff. I really wanted to love this shade so bad because it's so pretty. Like, it's like this peachy, nude, pinky, like, shade. Like, look how pretty that is. But you put it on the lips and it's just so streaky. It was so disappointing. Like, Elf, can you please fix this specific color? I would love you to death. Because your lipsticks are really, really good at moisturizing. I think this is the moisturizing one too. I'm not really sure. And I forgot to say, the bottom part right here, you can pop off. I can't get it off right now. So it has like a little product at the bottom too. If no one knows. Next shade is... Pink Minx? Minx? Minx. Okay, I got that right. And it looks like this here. I had used this before, I just haven't used it in quite a while. <laughs> My swatches are going to look really weird, so bear with me. 
looks like this. It's kind of a hot pinky shade. I just like stabbed the top of this lipstick on something. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, this is like a hot pinky type shade. But like, I don't know, it's kind of like a coral color to it. But it's really pretty. Next is the shade Flirty Flamingo. This pinky. It's almost, it's like really similar to this one, but it's not the same shade. It, it's like slightly more red toned. It's right there. And I think this is a moisturizing one. I'm not sure. It's got tiny reflex of glitter, like barely noticeable at all. So the next one is one of my favorite shades out of the ones I have so far. Wine Tour. It's this like pretty burgundy shade. And I have used it a bunch. It's just this is a moisturizing one. And it doesn't really dry out, which is nice. So I'm going to swatch it right. I'm doing terrible swatches. But bear with me, everybody. <laughs> this is awful. This is not how swatches should look. But um, that's what it looks like. And it's like this wine burgundy type shade. It's so pretty and moisturizing. No, it's not. The next shade is actually one of their like crayon type looking things. It is their matte lipsticks in shade Cranberry. It looks like this. There's a little twist up thing where you twist it. These are I like really these. I only have one of them so far. I wanted to get some more, but I haven't had a chance. And it comes a little sharper at the bottom. Which I didn't know that before. Till like maybe sometime last year. I don't even know. Like this pretty red, like, I don't know what, what kind of color to describe it. It's just, it's pretty, it's kind of bright, not really, I don't know. It's like in between a bright and dark. It's really pretty though. It's the e.l.f. lip tint, <laughs> hair mouth, lip tint in shade Perfect Berry. I have a lot of berry tone shades, I don't know, I'm like into the berry. It's, these are really moisturizing. I was wearing this one yesterday, I think. And it looks dark like this, but it doesn't actually look like this. It looks like this. It's a really cute shade. It's like a purpley type of, more pinky tone shade. It's not really that purpley like this. These are super moisturizing though. And these don't really, like, look how much is in there. That's a lot. I've had this for a while. It's not an elf. Which one do I want to show? This is L'Oreal Paris. I haven't used this one in a very long time. <laughs> and it kind of like melted too because it got destroyed so I was trying to fix it. But I like these ones too. I think my mom bought me this one. I don't even know. It's this shade. I have a lot of red lipsticks. <laughs> and berry tones. Yeah, I'm a little obsessed with those type of shades. But I've been getting more into the nudes too. So when I was first doing makeup. I was like, I like reds and dark tones like this, because this is like one of my first lipsticks. But look how pretty this is. So this is the CoverGirl Melting Pout Gel Liquid Lipstick. When I tested this out, one, it is not a liquid lipstick. So they need to change the name, and I think they recently did anyways. The applicator looks like this. It's like a felt tip thing, which I'm not used to yet. I do like the shade. It's really weird when it squeezes out though. I like the shade. Just it doesn't dry down. <laughs> Next one is a Kat Von D lipstick. It's one of her matte cream lipsticks in or it's a Sudden Kiss lipsticks in shade Lolita. I love this one and I want to get get more soon because these are really creamy and they do dry down matte. This one normally stays on all day for me. And this one, Lolita, looks like this. It's a very pretty shade. She has some bomb ass lipsticks. This is the only study kiss lipstick I tried though. And I do want to get more. But I got this at Marshall's for like $7. Which I mentioned in like a hundred of my videos already. But sometimes they have these at Marshall's TJ Maxx. You just gotta bake their shit. Trust me. You will find something high end there. The last cream type of lipstick is Too Faces, my first Too Faced lipstick, um, Too Faces cream lipstick in the shade Topless. It's like this peachy shade, I'll show you in a second. I'm actually wearing it right now. It's like super nude, but I love it, and it's really creamy and moisturizing. So it does not dry my lips whatsoever, which 
I need right now because I cannot wear liquid lipstick right now. This whole week, my lips have been like super chapped from this weather. I'm like in dire need of like a shit ton of lip balm and stuff. But it's like this. It kind of looks glossy if you like look in the light. But it's still very pretty and it's like, I don't know, it looks kind of glittery, but it doesn't bother me at all. Like, oh, the first two are NYX's butter glosses. These are amazing lip glosses. Oh my god. I need like a hundred thousand more of these. They're super pigmented. They don't stay sticky either. And they they smell like 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 vanilla cookies or something. I don't really know. But this is the pink shade in vanilla cream pie. <laughs> Super pigmented. Like look at that. It looks like a fucking lipstick. Other shade I have is shade red wine truffle. This is a gloss. Like look at that. Holy shit. This is so pretty. Like Oh my god. You can even top this over like some lipstick or something if you want to. Which I do sometimes if I want like a little gloss to my lipstick. Or just like a tiny bit of color to it. Like a different color to mix. Next is actually an Anastasia lip gloss. This is my first Anastasia lip gloss. And oh my god. It blew my fucking mind. Like just like the butter glosses. Anastasia. I see why people love this fucking brand. Besides like the contour kit and shit. Look, okay, first of all, let me show you what the name of this is. Neon Apple. It's supposed to be very neon, and I'm in love with it, because I like neon shit. Some people aren't into that, but I am. Look at that. That's lip gloss. Like, lip gloss. Look how bright and pigmented that is for a fucking lip gloss. And it does mostly stay on all day. It'll wear off like a tiny bits but you just gotta touch it up and it doesn't make it crusty or anything and the lip liners I want to talk about are well these two are actually different but they're both from the same brand one is the NYX suede lip matte lip liner in shade whipped caviar these are really good you do gotta sharpen them but they are really nice this shade looks like this it's like this mauvey nude type pink but it's slightly like darker than the other one I have Next is, um, next is, what's it called? Slim Lip Liner, I think that's what it's called, Slim Lip Pencil Lip Liner, in shade Natural. I use this for literally any new lip I'm doing. It will match up with it. More for like brown or lighter tones, but it looks like that right there. Can't really tell on my camera because my camera sucks ass, but... I love that shade. I didn't, like, I... And they don't really come off either. But, um, I found, like, oh, that these are really good by It's Likely Makeup. Like, love you, Jordy. Thank you, Jordy, for recommending these, because you're right. These are fucking amazing. Next is the Wet n' Wild Gel Lip Liners. I have two of them so far. First shade I have is... Is that really the shade name? Never Petal Down. <laughs> it's this pretty pink, as you can tell by this. And you twist them up like this. You do not have to sharpen them, which is nice. Shade is um, plumbed together. It looks like this. It's like this burgundy type color. It looks darker in here, actually. Not like by much, but it's really pretty. Since I have so many like burgundy type lipsticks, I had to get a lip liner like this. Just because it's just really hard to like line up your lips with just regular lipstick, especially if it's a dark shade like that. Like it looks like that. It's really pretty. Okay, the last lip liner I'm going to tell you guys about is also by Wet n Wild. It's the Color Icon Lip Liners. These are fucking long as fuck. You do have to sharpen these, which sucks, because I'm lazy as fuck. <laughs> but this is the shade, okay, one that's upside down. Berry Red, which I always need for my bright red lipsticks that I have. It looks like that. This is like maybe 98 cents. It does kind of feel like... It smells like crayon, <laughs> which sucks, <laughs> but it does work good for a affordable lip liner, so I recommend these if you need some cheap lip liners. Moving on to my favorite lip product, liquid lipstick. Some people hate these, some people love these. I love these, so 
I got a lot of these, so you you guys best stay a while because there's a lot to go through. Um, I'm gonna go with my tart ones first. I have two of the Tardis Tarts Tardis lip paints. They're both nude shades. First one is the shade Exposed. I've never tried their lipsticks or like any products from Tarte, so these are the first two like ever products from Tarte, and I fell in love with them. These are like amazing. This is the shade Exposed, like I said. And this is slightly darker than the other one. It's very similar to the other one, but this one's like a pinky tone type of nude. So it's darker that one. That one's more like a natural type of brown, kind of like that lip liner I showed you guys. The other shade is OG, and this is the other one I was talking about. It's like more just for natural, like, I don't know. It's really cute, though. They have some bomb ass lipsticks, like, you guys need to try these. If you haven't tried anything from Tarte, I would prefer this to be like the first product you should try. In my <laughs> NYX ones. I have only four NYX ones so far. I do really like the NYX ones. Though. I haven't tried many NYX products besides like the lip stuff, but I have four and three of them are nudes. Three of them are the lip lingeries too. First one I ever got was Cashmere Silk. I love this shade. These are actually kind of a thicker formula, so you don't really need much. They do dry matte though. This reminds me of Kat Von D's bow and arrow though when I was like swatching at Sephora one time. It does remind me of it. It's slightly darker but it's kind of a dupe for it but Kat Von D's formula is kind of different to it so I'm not going to say it is a dupe because there probably is like a hundred different brands that have dupes for hers but it's a really pretty like kind of pinky type of brown I don't really know it looks more brown on camera but in the tube it looks more like that next is the shade embellishment it's this purpley type tone nude like, in the lighting, it, ooh, I got too much on the top of it. But it does look purpley toned. You can't really tell in here. But the shade's really pretty, though. It's kind of like, I don't see, it's got, like, type of purple tone to it. So if you need a nude like this, you should try out this shade. Okay, next shade is Honeymoon in the next lip lingerie. And it's this really pretty nude brown. It's, like, really dark, it's like, deep. It's really cute though. Like I normally don't like brown lipsticks, but look at that's really cool. It's like a grayish type of brown. It's, I really like it. These are comfortable to wear as long as you exfoliate your lips. One, use a lip balm, and then you can apply them. You Last NYX lipstick I have is the NYX Liquid Suede, the Metallic Matte formula, and it's a purple shade. Doesn't even say the shade name. That's very helpful. I think it's amethyst. Pretty sure that's what it is, but it's purple shade because I never had a purple lipstick before and I really wanted to try one, so you know I had to buy this. And it was really pretty. And it does dry matte. I've only used it like a couple times, but it looks like that. It's really cool. I only have one from Maybelline, but I want to get more of these because it came out with a bunch of more shades. But it's Maybelline. What are these called? Super Stay Matte Ink. These are really good. Just don't apply too much, trust me. It will cake off your mouth if you apply way too much because people are complaining that these don't dry because if you do apply a lot, yeah, they're going to do that. It's very similar to this one, the Tarte um, Exposed. It's very similar, but once you apply it to the lips, it actually looks pretty lighter than it. Like, it almost looks like this. It's really pretty shade, especially if you love nudes like me. Oh my god. The next ones I'm going to show you are from Wet n Wild. It's their liquid catsuit liquid lipsticks. These are really amazing. A lot of people don't like these. A lot of people do. But I love them. So I have a shit ton of them. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. I only have five. Okay. Not that many, but... Okay, the first shade is... Oh, what shade is this? Rebel Rose. Looks like this. And these dry matte as well. This is like the first shade I ever bought from them because I saw these in the store and these are like $4.99 I think. It's like that. It's like this rosy pink. Rosy pink? <laughs> no, it just it looks like that. It's that type of pink. The next shade I have is... 
give me mocha. It looks kind of red on the lips, but it's not. I don't really know how to explain it. It's a really cute fall color, though. Okay, I'm going to be trying to actually apply some on the brush so I can actually put it on my hand. Looks like this. It's like a red type of brown shade. Next is the shade Missy and Fierce. It's this super, super bright red. So if you need a really cute bright red lipstick for Christmas, even though Christmas just passed, but if you want to get it this year, I just got that all over my finger. Really? Crystal? Like, how clumsy am I? So it looks like this super bright red. And this formula is kind of different to the other ones. I'm not having a good day. It's like, the other ones are more like moosey. This is more like really, really matte. Like, you just this dry is really matte, and it's kind of a thicker formula compared to the other ones I have. That one looks... Okay, and I have two from their Halloween collection. I wanted to get so many more, but I have the gray shade that they had, Sleepy Hollow. This one is really cool. <laughs> I've never had, like, a gray lipstick before. And I use this for Halloween, too, or just on a daily basis. I'm like, oh, gray lipstick, let's wear it. It's really cool. It's like... It's not super dark, it's like in between of dark and light gray. It's really cute though. And the last Sweat n Wild lipstick is Widow's Peak, the black lipstick. And this one's, I think it's the same for formula as like most of them, the red's just slightly different. This one is super pigmented, oh my god, like, this is a very good black lipstick if you need one. That dries matte. The next one is actually a dark shade with like, uh, what's this shade called? It's called Sad Girl. <laughs> like this burgundy shade, but it also has like reflex of like pink glitter in it, so it's really cute though. It's more like a purpley type of burgundy red. It's got like glitter reflex in there, you can't really tell on here, but it's really cute. And it does dry matte. They both of these dry matte. These are really good lipsticks, so everybody should try these. I'm gonna get like a ton of more shades once I find some. Okay, the last liquid lipstick I have, it's not gonna be the last one forever. I know I'm gonna buy a shit ton of more because these are my favorite type of lipsticks. Is the Kat Von D Liquid Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in shade Vampira. This was my first ever liquid lipstick. It's really, really pretty, really, really dark. It's almost the same as Sad Girl, just more reddish pink tone to it. These dry matte as well. So that one right there. These are very similar but this one's more glittery than this one. This one's just straight up matte. It looks like that. And Kat Von D's liquid lipsticks are really good. It's the first one I have but I'm gonna try more. Okay so I hope everyone enjoyed this video on my lipstick and slash like lip products um, collection. I am eventually going to have like a shit ton of more soon. So this is just what my collection looks like so far for lip products. Everybody, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Check out my other videos. And I'll see everybody in the next one.